Today we try gourmet food made for the average Joe. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. In life, you got your highfalutin foods like lobster tails and beef bourguignon. <laughs> and then you got yeah. your lowfalutin foods like buffalo wings and pizza rolls. But whether your taste buds are fancy dancy or more like mine, good food is good food. So what if you could take those highfalutin fancy ingredients and lowfalutify them? What I'm saying is make them for the every man, or every woman, or right. every person. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try and expand not only our palates, but hopefully also yours, and see if we can get all the average Joe eaters out there in the world to enjoy some expensive top shelf ingredients by making our favorite junk foods really fancy. It's time for Top Shelf Snacks, part two. All right, we got our average Joe, well our average Rhett and our average Link hats on, and we got our Harney County palettes ready. Yeah. And we picked out some of our favorite average Rhett and Link junk food from the grocery store, and now we've asked the mythical kitcheneers to create top shelf versions of those foods by incorporating very expensive ingredients. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna try each dish side by side with the real thing to see if the average Joe would prefer this new bougie version better or if nothing beats that OG junk. And at the end of each round, we're gonna decide whether this fancier food is good for the average Joe or big old average no. Bring it on. Okay, so what if Uncrustables decided to fancy up their little circular treats and make a caviar Uncrustable with champagne jelly? I've got the real thing over here, the actual Uncrustable. Link's got the new fancy version on his side. Now, a box of 10 peanut butter and grape jelly Uncrustables cost eight bucks at Ralph's. Uh -huh. So Josh, how much would the equivalent of these fancy schmancy Uncrustables over here cost? Oh, only $120.55. Oh! When you taste it, you're gonna realize how much of a bargain that is. Okay, all right, well, let's well, taste the, the real thing again. Oh, man, I just made a, I made a bell sound with my... With my Dinner own. time! Come and get it! Come and get it! Mmm. That's good, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You could go wrong if there was some crust on it. Be like, what the heck? Should I be scared? No, okay, so you have historically not liked caviar in the past, but we got the really good stuff. This is Kaluga caviar, this is real sturgeon. The champagne jam should really, really set it off. I real sturgeon? Real sturgeon, not the fake but stuff no you more. You ever seen how big a sturgeon is? They're big, and when you squeeze them, their little eggies come out. But yep. what does little black eggs have to do with peanut butter? Nothing, it's fancy, man. Exactly. Let's get, get a good, good enough bite to make something happen. I shouldn't have looked first, but I did. I mean, the jelly is sweet. I'm not tasting any ocean yet. You will. Keep chewing. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, it actually balances pretty nicely, though. <coughs> Link loves it. That's fun. Right on cue. It actually balances pretty nicely as I vomit on my plate. Um, well, he actually didn't, though. He kept it down. I hated it. Um, I hated it. I can appreciate that. Oh, look at the blackness of those eggs. But this is just like, I mean, the real thing is just a match made in heaven, man. We, I wanna be able to give the fancy smancy thing to somebody and not even tell them what it is, and then they're like, huh, this is different. I think I'm interested to know the details. Kind of a thing. This is not gonna do that. Maybe my standard's too high, but I gotta, I gotta forget about it. Yeah, I'm on the same page here. Caviar Uncrustables. Big, Big old, old average, average no. You familiar with cheese at duos? Uh, you got, what are these? These are Parmesan and, and cheddar. And cheddar going together? Two different cheeses together. But what if we took cheese at duos and decided to take their cheese game to society's upper crust with truffle burrata cheese that's combined with, I'm gonna butcher this, cacio cavallo. Podolico. <laughs> Cacio cavolo podolico. That. Capo cavolo dorso al bello coco. Ah, yeah. bravo. Palla coplavola. Si. Now, first of all, I didn't really know about duos. Calo pet clap clap. These cheese at duos. Prego. But it's just two different things put together. I mean, first of all, I'm just, I gotta get past this for a second. Like the average, That's good. The average Joe might be like, hold up, there's two. <laughs> and there's a pairing. <laughs> and you mix them. Cheddar and 
Parmesan? I don't know about that parm. You know, like that, that's where we, that's where we might be at. <laughs> but now we've gone to uh, All right, so Pinocchio. Which, what it was which Pinocchio? One is this? Uh, that looks like the lighter one. So that's the truffle burrata. This is the, the truffle burrata, and then this darker one is the cup of Yeah, you nailed it. Really. Oh yeah. man. First of all, I really like your cheese it consistency. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like a cheese straw. Flaky, mm -hmm. cheesy. Mm. 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 I can get in on this. Oh yeah. All right, so you could get the normal duos for three dollars at Target. What's the, what's the box of this going to run us? Uh, so this costs forty dollars and eighty four cents. But that's not really what's in play here. It's a strong we're not, we're cheese. Not, we're not saying. I want to get the average Joe to pay for this. We're saying that's true. Would the average Joe eat this if you served it to them? And I and think, I think, heck yes. Yeah, be like, well, it, cheese is cheese is cheese, man. Yeah, man, any cheese is good cheese. Man. Truffle burrata and Pinocchio cheese. It's good, good for, for the, the average, average Joe. Joe. Mythical Chef Josh doesn't just stand over there and talk to us, right? You no. also have a whole other channel. Yeah, I talk to other people sometimes too. Yep. Yeah, and directly to you. It's the Mythical Kitchen channel, and we want you to check it out. Him and Nicole, they'll cut up, have a good old time, throw Trevor in the mix, a little V will get in there too. It's just so much fun. They got a podcast, Hot Dog is a Sandwich. Whoa, makes me It's great, you excited. need to check them out. Check them out, check it out. All right, now, what if Chef Boyardee decided to swap out their yummy, classic beef paste for duck liver pate. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you don't like liver, but like, is liver pat, when you pate it, are you okay with it? Yes, I have enjoyed a pate. Not every pate, some pates that taste really livery, but like, I have had a really good pate before. Um, so I'm not gonna immediately just rule this one out. You can get this Chef Boyardee for 87 cents at Walmart, y'all. 87 cents. Josh, how much would this cost at Walmart? Uh, I mean, a, a paltry thirty nine ninety eight before tax at the Walmart. Okay. Hey. And that's the goal. The goal is to get us to a point where we want to pay too much money for stuff. Now, I'm getting one, I'm trying to give this a chance, so I'm giving one that doesn't have the pate all over the outside. So the outside is actually a duck breast sort of ragu that's been cooked down with Chianti as well. And oh, inside, oh, so that's meat. Well, that's, it's not just pate, but it's also I need uh, that, riette. Then. That's meat. So don't, don't focus on the liver, focus on the fancy. Okay, here we go. Focus on the fancy. On the fancy. I'm going to full, full, full thing. Focus. I'm focusing on the fancy. Okay. Hey man, that's not bad. The meat's not bad. I'm gripping this fork so tight I can bend it. <laughs> it begins to taste like liver, but never fully becomes what I associate with the liver taste. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at what you've done to the ravioli. I don't, what is it? It's so different. Again, it's like you don't want to tell them. You just, I'll just eat it. You screwed up the ravioli. That's what they'd say if you didn't tell them that you were trying something. Because that doesn't look like anything you can get out of a can at Walmart. Mm. This, on the other hand, definitely does. Um, <clears throat> that may be a bridge too far. I mean, you're having, you're having a really tough time with it. And I feel like... I ate it. I feel like I didn't hate it as much as the other thing though. The 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 black eggs. If you like pate, you will love this though. It's not bad. It isn't bad. And I think that And I would say it doesn't taste livery. And let me well let me I just say, say there's a little bit of I would say just in the name of kind of clarifying what fancy is, eating liver straight up in the south is actually not a fancy thing. Okay. It's like People go and get the chicken livers that you that I typically yeah. use for like catfish bait. That's true. And they fry them up with onions. And that's a super like southern thing. So I think that this could actually work. It doesn't there's not a there's not a nasty aftertaste. There's no like liverness and I think there you do have that access point. You already like liver. Yeah. More than me. So you know what we're saying? Liver pate, chef by RD, good, good for, for the, the average Joe. Joe. And finally, what if Klondike's Choco Taco, you're already eating it, Yeah, uh, one of our favorite freezer all desserts, decided to go all in with the uber expensive spice saffron, which we have over here. Uh, what will happen? Well, will it win over the average Joe Rhett and Link? No, we know we like Choco Taco, but- It's so good. Last time 
We put some saffron in some Twinkies. Um, we did not like that. It's not working for me because it tastes like a pool filter. It tastes horrible. And one time I got the pool filter. Well, one time I got something stuck in the pool filter. And uh, yeah. talk about a long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Those guys are funny. That's funny. Well, both of them. Yeah. Well, especially the one who but, didn't talk in but, that but, clip. But, but it was really on, funny. The one on the left was real funny. The, in one, that, who, the one on the right who didn't in talk. In that one. He Ooh, got something funny. stuck in the pool field. had a long weekend. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> he's talking about putting your woo -hoo. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> long weekend. <laughs> get it? <laughs> long and more. <laughs> That's right. More ways than one. <laughs> That's you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I do know what you're saying. Sometimes you have an accident and you're happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know. <laughs> you know, I know when you're talking, and I think I can understand it. I mean, I ain't gonna complain about that. You know <laughs> Me what I'm either, man. I'm not complaining either. Okay, so a box of Choco Tacos costs three dollars and forty nine cents at Target <laughs> with saffron. How much would a four box cost? Uh, eighty dollars and twelve cents. Good gracious. Yeah. Now let hey, me say before I eat this, I don't knock it until you dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I will say that. After we had that saffron in the Twinkie, I made myself a paella, and I put some um, some saffron in it, but I did a very little bit, and I felt like I got it right, because it's so strong, and I actually began to like paella again. I mean, saffron. Are you gonna ruin it for us again here? How did, how did you do this? <laughs> Every time I got to talk, you gonna have a long weekend, man. You gonna have a long weekend. You gotta work that out. I remember when Rhett got the paella pan and he told me about it and I was like, he's never gonna make paella. So I'm really glad you did make yeah, paella. Yeah, man, I did. That's exciting for me. Anyways, this is a saffron waffle taco shell filled with saffron pistachio ice cream. It's been swirled mm. with saffron caramel and then we've topped it with saffron white chocolate and crushed pistachios. But I think the saffron's really gonna work with the choco taco format better than the Twinkie. Is there a lemon in there? No, there's not. That might just be the saffron sort of interacting mm. with pistachio. <coughs> mm. It's got a very bright taste. It's very light and airy. It's vanilla, you say? I think it works with the vanilla. What? It's vanilla, you say? <laughs> it's like somebody. It's like when a kid, in, a kid in a movie, like sneaks into a fancy party and, and act and act like an adult. <laughs> so, like, from one kids. adult to another, <laughs> it's vanilla. There's two kids in a trench coat, and then one on top is like, it's vanilla, you say? <laughs> There's also no vanilla in there, for the record, <laughs> for the just to be accurate. No, it's pistachio ice cream. I did not say. I did not say. You didn't um, even say. I did not say, sir. <laughs> he didn't Fellow even say. Fellow adult. <laughs> yeah, don't make assumptions, man. <laughs> okay. Don't make any assumptions when you walk into that adult party as a child. Oh, there's an actual pistachio in there. I feel like it actually it has a lemony uh, taste to it. Am I wrong in saying that there's something fishy? About saffron. No. <laughs> I'm not wrong? You are wrong. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I taste fish. That, what? I mean, I, don't I can even, taste fish. I don't even know what to say. A I'm sorry. Taste fish. I probably on your fingers or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the, in the bait store. <laughs> I've been stroking my fish before I came into work today. <laughs> I got a... Got a bucket out back full of fish. I, I go back there, I, I touch them, I stroke them, I just I tell them hello. <laughs> then I come to work, do my yeah, day job. I know the feeling. Uh, um, it, I don't know, it's just a little fishy to me. <laughs> but I kinda like it. <laughs> I, I think, don't hate it. I think it works, I think. I think this is a gateway drug to saffron. Yeah, I think it works. So we're saying saffron choco tacos. Good for the average Joe. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at that. We stroked a couple of fish and got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Clicking the bell. You know what time it is. I'm Amanda. I'm Emily. I'm Alexis. I'm Joey. And we're cooking a turkey in a trash can in Floyd, Virginia. And it's time to the spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> <laughs> Call us, Joey. Joey. Joey is into it, man. The turkey, I mean. Okay, click the top link to watch us discover which Wagyu beef jerky you should buy and which one you should steer clear of in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?